Hi, and good evening to everyone. Um, today I'm going to be talking about vaccinated COVID-19 deaths again. And this is because I hadn't finished looking at the review of the paper, which was to do with high viral loads, what drives fatal COVID and deaths in COVID-19 in patients who are vaccinated. It was the first paper that was done and has some very important information that I think needs to be shared and understood. As part of the, the explanation for it, I was focused on explaining how people die quickly. It's usually heart and um, heart, lungs, or blood pressure. And those are the three biggies that cause people to die quickly. And in a presentation that I've done on my Substack, and I'd encourage you again, if you haven't yet been to my Substack, please consider joining Substack here, um, posts, podcasts, and videos since March 2020. And what I have done is that I've recorded an explanation using some of the slides that I'm going to quickly flip through here for you, including talking about how people die quickly. That's important to understand when we think about how patients died with regards to COVID-19. Now, one of the things that I, I wanted to do that took me more time than I thought it should was building this. And I'll show you this here quickly. And this is what I spend a little bit more time looking at. So this is all 29 cases. So you can't see too clearly. So I'll zoom in a bit on it. And so you will find that um, as I zoom in, these are all the cases that had died at case one, 10, all the way up to case 29. So there are 29 autopsies and I've broken them into two groups. So in white is the patients who are partially vaccinated and in gray are the patients who were fully vaccinated. Then I've color coded them as to the pneumonias, the, the responses uh, in this case with regards to the antibody response, which vaccine they had, all of these relevant bits uh, that took. And where I'm particularly focused in the presentation on Substack is to do with changes in lung parenchyma. And this was focused primarily on understanding the characteristics about the, um, the deaths in COVID-19. So if you want that as well, you need to join me on Substack. I'll have the link to this Excel document that has it broken down if somebody's interested in looking more details at it. And um, it will help to clarify what is going on here. So this is the same picture again. Um, in a little bit more detail. As I said, it took more time than I thought to take all of this out of the supplementary report on the paper, but it really makes it so much easier to understand or to look objectively at the details on these autopsy cases. And so this is just a quick summary because I'm encouraging you to join me on Substack to take a look at, um, at this in more detail. But here we have some of the slides I've gone through. This is a picture of healthy lung tissue. Um, this one here is a picture of the alveolus, the little sacs of air inside the lungs and why they are so important with regards to understanding the severity of the disease in COVID-19. This here is just showing the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Uh, this is the critical point that technically causes death, good oxygen supply here, release of carbon dioxide here. This is how you breathe. Uh, this one is just looking at a healthy lung versus a, a COVID-19 lung. It's the best picture I could find. And this is looking at the stages of how the, the inflammation occurs with regards to COVID-19 from healthy to quite severe inflammation in the lungs. So um, these are just some of the slides that I'd, I'm trying to go through with regards to COVID-19 and to give a better understanding. This here is just showing what happens in inflammation, healthy versus disease lung. This was a picture from the, the paper um, showing a disease lung. And again, we, we talk about a bit more about what is involved in the disease, the diffuse alveolar damage. Uh, this is another picture again, showing what would happen in severe disease as opposed to a normal healthy lung. And um, this here image is talking about microthrombi and the fact that this is very critical to what causes death in COVID-19. Actually, this is, this is probably the most important point 
And actually the point I'll just quickly share with you with regards to these microthrombi. And as you're remembering, these little sacs of air, alveoli, is what causes the exchange of oxygen into the bloodstream and the removal of carbon dioxide. And there are over a million of them in the, um, in the lungs. I think it's higher than that. I can't even remember the exact number. And each one has a blood vessel with it. In the context of COVID-19, one of the primary reasons we have lung failure is because of these little clots. They're called microthrombi. And these microthrombi block the blood vessels, and so you can't have exchange of oxygen. And it, it's kind of like having little clots all over the lungs, um, like little, what we call a pulmonary embolus, but tiny ones scattered all through the lungs. And if this occurs and is severe enough, or it takes out probably 90% of your lung capacity, then that is what ends up with people being on a ventilator and not surviving even on 100% uh, oxygen. So yes, so this is just a quick summary as to those points that um, I've been highlighting there. And uh, just to probably to emphasize even more importantly, as I take you back to this here again and showing you the full document here, this is a very important document. If you are interested in looking at the autopsy details, I've put it down in an Excel here, which um, actually the primary one here, uh, this is the one that has all the details. Uh, I take note some when I was looking at lungs, looking at all of the, the responses, the comorbidities that were associated with these patients. And this is, uh, this is important to see um, very quickly, all the comorbidities that were associated with uh, these patients. And you can see all the way across in vaccinated and partially vaccinated patients that these patients all had a lot of comorbidities. They were not well people. And what's was interesting is how much hypertension stands out in that picture. So yes, um, please um, click on the link in the description below if you want to join me on this journey of understanding COVID-19. And these days I'm also talking about monkeypox and I'll, I'll share with you some of the more recent thoughts on that in a, another quick presentation. But yes, this is just to encourage you, please. Um, I'd love, it's 24 minutes, that um, video presentation. and uh, It will be on Substack, hopefully within the next day. And um, join me in this journey. So have a great evening. Um, and uh, thank you. I've got some supporters. Um, thank you, uh, Lorraine. Uh, and thank you as well, Tony. Um, and um, yes, appreciate these um, these comments from everybody. And uh, I hope to keep on bringing you some more stuff in the next few days and weeks to keep you updated with the science. Have a great evening to everyone. And I look forward to talking to you again soon.